very dynamic Tsugaru Jamisen performance. This is actually a remote live music session, transmitted in real time using the realistic feeling of ultra high definition video. This technology is also expected to be used in the medical field. For example, surgeons and pathologists at different hospitals may perform pathological diagnoses using ultra high definition video. Such remote cooperation is not possible with current conventional network technology and will only become feasible with the advent of the dynamic optical path network presented here. The research and development of this technology is being carried out at the Vertically Integrated Center for Technologies of Optical Routing Toward Ideal Energy Savings, Victories, a collaborative venture between AIST, National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, and 10 companies. At these facilities, researchers are currently developing innovative technologies based on the vertical fusion of different infrastructures, supporting the optical networks ranging from devices to application techniques, which would drastically reduce the network's energy consumption. Current networks are based on a packet switching system and consist of a large number of electronic routers. This system is well suited to the exchange of relatively small volumes of information, such as email or web pages. But the packet switch based system, in which information is divided into many small packets that are then handled by a succession of routers hop by hop, is a very inefficient way to transfer large volumes of information, such as high definition video. This is a major cause of the increase in power consumption. If the volume of information traffic continues to grow at current rates, serious infrastructure problems are expected to occur in future, at which time the network in Japan alone would consume the amount of energy equivalent to its entire power consumption today. The data packet processing at the electronic router is also causing high latency. If we could handle these large volumes of information by a path-switched network using optical switches, it would be possible to transfer this information with ultra-high capacity, ultra-low energy consumption, and ultra-low latency. These are the main features of the dynamic optical path network. In future networks, the packet switch network and the optical path network will be used in combination depending on the applications. This will create networks with a high level of convenience. In this center, we perform the following R&D activities to create the dynamic optical path network. Network application interfaces that develop the interface between networks and users. Dynamic nodes that perform various types of optical path switching. Optical path conditioners that optimize the quality of the transmission line and optical path processors that are switching devices for optical path exchange. In October 2014, AIST performed a demonstration of this technology using a prototype test bed. In this test, eight optical cross-connect units called dynamic nodes were installed and connected to each other via optical fibers creating a network. Each node switches the network paths with three different layers of bandwidth, according to the volume of the transmitted information. Consequently, these networks realize flexibility and scalability much better than current technologies. In the first layer of switching, covering fine granular information, 1 to 10 gigabits per second, the ODU switch is used to temporarily switch the ODU-based paths within a wavelength path. With the recently developed ODU CrossConnect LSI, it has become possible to achieve lower energy consumption and lower latency compared to a conventional router. The second layer of switching covers medium granular information, 10 to 100 gigabits per second, and uses a wavelength selective switch. Among the multitude of wavelengths passing through a single fiber, 
Specific wavelengths may be extracted or added for switching purposes. By using a mechanism that allows for high precision control of the angle of a MEMS mirror, high precision selection of wavelengths on the order of nanometers has become possible. Additionally, with the aid of silicon photonics technology, we have succeeded in improving the flexibility of wavelength switching. The third layer of switching, covering coarse granular information, 100 gigabits per second or more, uses a silicon photonic switch such that wavelengths can be switched for each fiber. In this demonstration, a switch with eight input and eight output channels was embedded in the test bed. In addition, microfabrication technology has allowed for the production of submicron waveguides and microheaters. On the back of this, we have produced a prototype of the smallest integrated optical switch in the world with a 32 by 32 matrix. Optical path conditioning makes it possible to maintain the highest quality optical signals even if the optical path is frequently switched. This has been achieved using a new technology that exploits the optical parametric process phenomenon, making it possible to maintain high-quality waveforms even under changing transmission conditions. In this way, a number of underlying techniques are used in the design and construction of test beds and their discrete components. Switches incorporated into each node are centrally controlled by a resource management system via a standard process called the NSI Connection Service. The resource management system comprehensively evaluates the information volume or the crowdedness of the line according to the connection requirement of users. Subsequently, it connects servers and users by the most efficient route. Additionally, by regularly monitoring the power consumption, optical power and reservation status of each switch, the status of the entire testbed can be evaluated. Now let's connect a 4K video conferencing system using the testbed. Users indicate the connection destination using a tablet device. Then, the resource management system selects the path adapted to the 4K video signal from among the available routes. The system transfers a control signal to each of the three layered switches to connect the path. It is possible to transmit 4K high-definition images with low energy consumption and without latency. Consequently, conversation becomes smoother as it is possible to observe the subtle movement of objects with complex forms in real time. From the data of such experiments, we have succeeded in demonstrating that the system has a high capacity of 90 terabits per second and an extremely low energy consumption of 6 kilowatts. Moreover, we found that only 25 nodes would be required in order to install the Dynamic Optical Path Network nationwide. This calculation shows that the looming problem of increasing power consumption associated with the ever-increasing growth of information traffic could be drastically reduced. This would be a key development in the creation of a greener, more sustainable society, resolving energy shortages. So, we would like to introduce representative examples of applications that will become feasible thanks to the Dynamic Optical Path Network and its main characteristics of ultra-high capacity, ultra-low energy consumption, and ultra-low latency. The efficiency of ultra-low latency was demonstrated during the remote live music session between NHK Science and Technology Research Laboratories in Tokyo and AIST in Scuba carried out by two Tsugaru Jamisen performers. そして、こちらが8K スーパーハイビジョンフル解像度カメラです。
遅延時間の違いを比較してみましょうレディーゴー違いが分かりましたよね Plenty of other areas stand to benefit from this technology, including medicine. With the Dynamic Optical Path Network, medical specialists at hospitals and universities can share an enormous amount of ultra-high definition, three-dimensional medical videos to assist in drawing up surgery plans. Specialist and intern physicians working in remote places will also be able to share the progress of operations in real time. Moreover, it will become possible for pathologists and surgeons to share microscopic videos of specimens taken from affected areas to assist in pathological diagnosis. With the popularization of the dynamic optical path network, it would no longer be a mere dream to watch videos of multiple matches on demand simultaneously from various angles that are being performed at a stadium. Victories will continue working towards the realization of a green IT society through innovation of remote cooperation aided by the continued development of the Dynamic Optical Path Network.